I'm Cole Ferguson. And I'm Walker Derry. I'm Lucas Hensley. We're from Nicholasville, Kentucky. And you're watching Live the Thrill. Yellow! Make that yellow pee pee come out, bro. <laughs> yellow. It's cracking y'all. All right, so I uh, just left Up Churches. Uh, thanks, Up Church, for letting me stay at your, on your couch last night. Appreciate it. Um, so we out now. something i think and uh up church still sleeping man he's freaking tired i reckon i got up this morning i asked if he wanted to go to breakfast but he's like oh man i'm gonna keep sleeping i was like okay uh oh man just got a ticket of crap uh oh watch these gas station people yell at me don't let him take his shit right there what the hell yeah we're gonna head back uh to old kentucky antarctica got some business crap i gotta do up there taxes wise and stuff so um we'll head up there a little drive back three hours and uh, yeah, should be good to go. You ready, Banjo? Ready to go, buddy? You ready? All right, let's do it, buddy. Let's do it. Come on, jump. Oh, you're gonna have trouble from there, huh? Come on, buddy, up. Oh, good boy, almost. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Good boy. All right, let's get. Oh hell! Up church left his grizzly patches. What the dick, man? I don't want these. And we're back in old freaking Antarctica, Kentucky. Here he is. I like it whenever we hit the Kentucky border because then it opens up to a three lane and we can actually freaking not have to deal with uh, 18 wheelers until we get to this dang road work area up here, halfway to Louisville. And it's just ridiculous. It's always ridiculous. It's going to be ridiculous for the next couple of years. It's like they're never going to finish the sun, bitch. All right, just got home. Manjo, come on. Get out of there. Come on, Manjo. Let's go. So I just got home, got everything unpacked. I had to run in, take a leak, the the drive to to uh, Nashville. Come on, dude. Gosh, dang it. Quit staring me through a fence. Let's go. The drive was, you know, it's pretty much exactly three hours. Sorry, I got crap in my hands. It's pretty much exactly three hours, so that's not too bad. Um, and, uh, Come on, let's go inside. It's freaking freezing in the house. It's actually a lot colder here than it was in Tennessee. Um, I freaking, uh, what was I saying? Um, 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 hmm, I have no idea. Oh, we got the cows back over here. Tits, yeah, yellow. <laughs> so I just got the video up, uh, vlog up. Um, Got some of my tax stuff done. I had to get some stuff back before they closed and everything like that. But guess what, y'all? I'm not going to forget to take out my trash this time because I'm going to do it right now. And then uh, I'm going to run into town, get some food. Uh, I don't have anything at the house. I'm going to have to go to the grocery store. But, um, oh, man. One of those cows just shit. Whew, God dang, man. Holy dick. It smells like the inside of a dead squirrel's bunghole. Good net. All right, you Panamanian hooker, let's go. Oh, yeah, y'all, I wanted to show y'all this. So this freaking, um, this door, it's got like a, it's got like an automatic thing, right? Where you can open it, just tap it and whatever. So it's not working anymore. The button won't work, nothing like that. It won't even try. Um, I'm wondering if something got turned off or something is broken, you know, in the motor or something back here. Let me know if y'all have ever had these, uh, this problem. Uh, I don't know what the tits is going on with that. And then today, whenever I was, uh, coming down here, coming back up here from Tennessee, the dang, uh, cruise control was going on and off and it, it's like it's the cruise controls going out. So I don't know about that crap either. I'm not very, uh, you know, whenever I, um, I did automotive technology in high school. It was like college classes for two years, you know, worked on a lot of vehicles. So I know how to do quite a bit of stuff, but all that stuff i we never worked on anything like that so i don't know let me know in the comments if you guys have any ideas and uh we'll see how she freaking goes just me taking the trash out banjo jump in you piece of trash <laughs> by the way tomorrow we are for sure going to get a new gosh dang camera i can't even fit the sd card in this thing barely anymore like the the spring mechanism that like clicks it in won't work anymore so i have to like pull it out with freaking pliers every time it's ridiculous. I've only had this camera like not even a year, I don't think. I don't think I've had it a year. I might have had it a year, but I, I can't remember exactly. But yeah, it's it's definitely something I need to uh, freaking get fixed. So we'll get a new one tomorrow. How's Banjo doing? Oh, he's good. There's a wreck or something up in front of us, so he's staring at that. I think oh, a truck went think... through the fence. Holy crap, there's a cop up here and a truck went through the fence. Oh, no, you, 
You videoing it? Yeah, I'm on it right now. Say yellow. Yellow. <laughs> well, that was crazy. Damn uh, truck went through the fence. It, there was, I don't know if you saw that big old divot in the road. They, uh, they had to, they were redoing that crap or whatever. And I guess some truck just freaking, his truck just didn't like it. It was a Dodge. <laughs> Excuse me, probably the ball joint flew out. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but everybody was stopped behind the cop. I'm like, get the go, go around, you silly dicks. So I, I, I was the leader. Follow the leader, bitch. All right. Well, um, I just was on the phone with my accountant for a good half hour, 45 minutes, and uh, heading into town to get some food. And you know, I'm coming back now. But uh, yeah, she dropped the news on me of how much I owe this year. And let me tell y'all right now. It hurt so bad when she told me that fucking number. I mean, she told me that number and I wanted to just cry. I, I like, uh, I didn't say nothing. I was just like, I couldn't even breathe. I was just, uh, uh, wanted to cry. I, I couldn't believe it. Um, yeah, she just, she just opened up that Vaseline and stuck it straight up my ass. God dang, IRS, what the fuck? All right, y'all. What the? Why am I always saying that? All right, y'all. Freaking A, man. I freaking feel like I repeat myself so many times. That's one of the biggest things. I'm doing these freaking bitches all the time. I feel like I repeat myself all the time, and I just want to punch myself through the freaking camera when I'm admitting myself. I always apologize to freaking hair right now. It's growing, y'all. It's freaking growing. The hair is freaking growing out, y'all. It's looking mullety right now. So, uh, still growing it. For everybody that don't know, it's new here. I'm growing my hair out again. I used to have long hair back in the day, so we're growing it out again. We're, uh, uh we'll call it freaking, we'll call it Operation Thor. Operation, we'll call it Operation Try to Look Like Thor again. <laughs> freaking hair look like Thor ass hair. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and uh, finish off this gosh dang video. I wanted to, um, kind of tell y'all the dealio and what is, uh, going on in my head, what's going on in life and why I was down in Tennessee, blah, blah, blah. So like you saw in, oh, by the way, two days ago or whatever it was, whenever I put the new outlaw sticker on the back of the bourbon and I said, screw mud jug. I'm searching. That was a joke. I said it was a joke in the video. A lot of people actually believe me. Like you're done with mud jug. What? No, I'm not freaking done with mud jug, man. It was a joke. I just, the, the freaking sticker I had on the back was old as tits and it was starting to peel because I put it on wrong. Just like I put the Outlaw sticker on wrong, I suck at putting freaking stickers on, those big ones. It's hard, man. It's freaking hard. I'm just impatient and I just want to just get it on. Anyways, um, so here's the dealio. Now, I am somewhat, sometimes I screw myself over and I share too much of my life online, but this is something that I just wanted to let you guys know um, because, you know, it's confusing and people think that I might be, you know, leaving Kentucky and I'm moving and stuff like that. So here is the rundown. I am looking to move. Um, first of all, you guys know I was in Nashville and around that area. I was hanging out with the Upchurch. He lives, you know, outside of Nashville in Cheatham County. I kept saying Cheatham, Cheath, Cheatham County, and it's apparently just Cheatham. Cheatham County. Just Cheatham. So I, I was around there as well, so that's why I hooked up with Upchurch. But mm. I was in Nashville, and I was looking at places and stuff like that. Now, I um, am looking for a house, obviously, something bigger. This place that I'm in now, is it's not big. I have so much crap. You know, obviously, it's just me and Banjo. But uh, I wanted to, you know, being, Nashville is about, you know, three hours away from me here. Um, but it would just be nice to be close to that town due to kind of what I do in the, you know, entertainment business, I guess. And making vidges and there's a lot of contacts down there as well as people to collaborate with. So, you know, and people, and, and other people even that aren't from Nashville are always coming through Nashville, blah, 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 for me to collaborate with and, and work with and stuff. So it would be easier for me to be in that town. That's, I always have this problem where it's like, I don't know where I want to live, blah, blah, blah. You know, I don't know because being here in the middle of nowhere in Kentucky, it's sometimes hard because I don't know that many people around here and um, I have to travel a lot, which I don't have any problem traveling. But, you know, I have to travel a lot to see different and collaborate with different people, you know. I'll be closer to the soldiers. I work a lot with them. And it would just be a lot better if I was there. Now, this place in Kentucky, where I'm at now. I've got all these, all this acreage I hunt here and, and, and stuff and fish here. I, my plan is to keep this place 
and um, and and still come here a few times a year for hunting season and, and stuff like that. My plan is to keep this place and and, and still stick around, hang out with Jim Bob, hang out with freaking uh, uh, gosh dang critter every once in a while and all that kind of crap. And that's my plan. So that is what I want to do is is keep this place and 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 stay around here and uh, and have a place to come back here during hunting season. Crap. So that's my plan. So for all you people that are like, no, don't leave Kentucky, all that kind of stuff. I'm I'm still gonna keep a place here, have a place here. Mm -hmm. Um, if I do end up moving down to Nashville, nothing is, nothing is set in stone yet. I might not even move to Nashville. Who freaking knows? You know, like I, I, you know, there's a lot of things going, go, that go into, to getting a house and, um, and all that stuff. So, but, um, you know, just bear with me for the next, whenever it takes, I don't know, this is the first time I'm buying a house. So there's a lot of paperwork and everything that goes through it and, you know, it's, it's a ridiculous process. So, um, there'll be some time, but this is kind of just me explaining to you guys what's happening. And, uh, I still plan on keeping this place here and you might possibly see me in Nashville soon. And, um, I think it would just be so much better even for the Vidges to be there collaborating with people, doing cooler projects and, uh, business wise, it makes the most sense. So with that being said, me and Banjo here might be freaking moving. <laughs> He's such a cute little puppy. He's such a cute little puppy. Benjo's getting big, y'all. He's getting big. Can you believe he's not even two yet? Him and I got the same birthday, by the way. Him and I got the same gosh dang birthday. But anyways, me and Benjo might be freaking moving, so that's just a little update for y'all. And, um, look at him. He's just like, Daddy, why you gotta embarrass me like this? I don't look good. I didn't do my makeup. <laughs> anyways, love you guys. And, uh, hope this freaking, um, kind of clarifies some stuff. Mmm. Mmm, yeah, mm-hmm. And I reckon we'll see yous tomorrow. Woo! Like I said, I love y'all. And, uh, hey, if you guys like these vlogs and stuff like that, make sure to give this some bitch a thumbs up. Hit that gosh dang thumbs up button if you enjoy this. And if you keep wanting to see more vlogs, um, you know, leave me a comment below. You see that, some bitch? That was a freaking frisbee. He just threw it to himself. Anyways, I'm getting a call. Live to thrill. Hi, y'all.